Prostate cancer is the most common cancer in men. And at Loyola University, being an academic center, uh, we uh, offer a full range of treatment options for men with prostate cancer. And uh, when it's localized just to the prostate, uh, they have options of surgery, brachytherapy, external beam radiation, or active surveillance. Here at Loyola, we can offer a full range of options for treatment for prostate cancer, whether it's external beam radiation with photon therapy using IMRT or proton therapy, or brachytherapy using low dose rate brachytherapy or SEEDS, or high dose rate brachytherapy or HDR. High dose rate prostate brachytherapy is a type of treatment for prostate cancer uh, that falls under the category of radiation therapy. And the most traditional way to deliver radiation therapy is using external radiation coming from the outside in. Brachytherapy is a way of delivering the radiation from the inside out with the radiation source temporarily within the prostate. With the HDR brachytherapy, the key difference is that instead of placing permanent seeds into the prostate, you place tiny tubes into the prostate. And later that day, you deliver the radiation therapy seeds over 15 to 20 minutes, and then remove everything upon completion of the treatment. One of the key benefits of HDR is that unlike seeds, where you have precautions about sexual activity after the implant and having small children or pregnant women in close proximity or even sitting in your lap, is that with HDR, since there's no radioactivity in your body after the procedure, you no longer have to worry about those things. Another difference between HDR brachytherapy and external beam is that while you come in every day Monday through Friday for external beam radiation for about eight to nine weeks, with HDR brachytherapy, if that's the only form of treatment you're going to have, it's only two procedures over two days, about one to two weeks apart. So the day starts with the patient coming to the OR, we put them to sleep, and then we use an ultrasound to place tiny tubes or catheters throughout the prostate. Then we bring the patient down to the radiation oncology department and we do a CAT scan. The purpose of that CAT scan is to make sure that the catheters are in a perfect position and adjust them if necessary. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the radiation to be delivered. And then after that, everything's removed and the patient goes home.